Let us pray the angelus. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, the Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please kneel for the prayer before Mass. Almighty and ever-living God, I approach the sacrament of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I come seek to the doctor of life, and cling to the fountain of mercy, blind to the regions of eternal light, and poor and needy to the Lord of heaven and earth. Lord, in your great generosity, heal my sickness, wash away my defilement, enlighten my blindness, enrich my poverty, and clothe my nakedness. May I receive the bread of angels, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords, with humble reverence, with the purity and faith, the repentance and love, and the determined purpose that will help to bring me to salvation. May I receive the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood and its reality and power. Kind God, may I receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, born from the womb of the Virgin Mary, and so be received into his mystical body and numbered among his members. Loving Father, as on my earthly pilgrimage, I now receive your beloved Son under the veil of his sacrament. May I one day see him face to face in glory, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, today we celebrate the solemnity of St. Joseph, spouse or husband of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We continue to be inspired by the life of St. Joseph. But also today, in a special way, we pray for fathers, we pray for husbands, that they may continually be through the guidance of 
St. Joseph, faithful to their family and most especially to their promises to God. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions. We pray for all those who ask for our prayers and for the intentions of this Holy Mass. Now, my dear sisters and brothers, let us also acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks. For your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, 
your church may constantly watch over the unfolding of your mysteries of human salvation, whose beginnings you entrusted to his faithful care. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Samuel. The Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David, when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. It is he who shall build a house for my name, and I will make his royal throne firm forever. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The son of David will live forever. The son of David will live forever. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations, my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven, you have confirmed your faithfulness. The son of David will live forever. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. The son of David will live forever. He shall say of me, You are my father, my God, the rock, my savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him and my covenant with him stands firm. The son of David will live forever. A reading from the letter of Saint Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, it was not through the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his descendants that he would inherit the world, but through the righteousness that comes from faith. For this reason, it depends on faith, so that it may be a gift and the promise may be guaranteed to all his descendants, not to those who only adhere to the law, but to those who follow the faith of Abraham, who is the father of all of us, as it is written, I have made your father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into being what does not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the father of many nations, according to what was said. Thus shall your descendants be. That is why it was credited to him as righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please hold stand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. We praise you, we bless you, we worship and adore you, Lord. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Now, this is the birth of Je this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took his wife into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Unlike the role of the Blessed Virgin Mary sa buhay po ni Jesus, sa ating pong Gospels, no, si Mary po parati natin nakikita na katabi ni Jesus or at least kasakasama parati ni Jesus in the different stages of the life of Jesus. No? So parati na may mention si Mary that she is always with Jesus. But in the case of Joseph, si Joseph po sa ating pong gospel, number one, limited ang kanyang exposure, hindi ba shadow na nakikita o nababasa ang kanyang story sa ating pong gospels, and wala siyang speaking line, no? Hindi siya nagsasalita sa ating pong gospel, no? Wala siyang, sa kumbaga sa, sa pelikula o sa teleserye po ay supporting actors lang si, si, si Joseph, no? Yun po ang kanyang role doon sa ating pong Panginoon. And yet, sa ating pong salvation history, malaki po ang naging role ni Joseph. That's why sinasabi sa atin ng ating simbahan that Joseph is the silent church worker. Bakit? Kasi kahit po sa Gospels natin, kagaya na sinabi ko kanina, kakaunti lang ang kanyang exposure, kaka wala rin siyang speaking line, pero malaki ang role na ginampanan ni Joseph lalong-lalo na po sa buhay ni Mary at ni Jesus. So today po, we celebrate what we call the uh, Feast of, or Solemnity of St. Joseph as the husband of Mary. Uh, para hindi rin po tayo ma-confuse, iba po ito sa celebration natin ng May 1. May 1 is Joseph the Worker. No? Yan po ang difference ng March 19 at May 1. March 19, we celebrate Joseph as the husband of Mary. Mar uh, May 1 naman po ay Joseph as the worker. No? So today, what do we learn from the life of St. Joseph as a father and as a husband to the Blessed Virgin Mary? Number 1. Sinasabi po sa atin ni, G ni Joseph sa kanyang buhay that Joseph was a listener, no? Nakikinig po siya, no? Whenever he is confused, no? Or whenever na there is trouble in their life, ano ang parating ginagawa ni Joseph? Parati siyang nakikinig sa utos ng 
Diyos. He always listens to God. No? Kaya nga, di ba, nauso po yung tinatawag natin noon na image ni Joseph na sleeping Saint Joseph. No? Bakit? Because there was a time hindi na alam ni Joseph kung anong gagawin niya. But, he listened to God. No? So yan po yung number one na matututunan natin kay Saint Joseph. Joseph is a good listener. Number two, because he listened, dahil nakinig po si Joseph, he was also an obedient man. No? As makikita po natin sa ating pong Gospels, no? may kli ang kanyang storyline sa ating pong Gospels, pero makikita po natin ang obedience ni Joseph. Nakita po natin na sinabihan siya ng Angel Gabriel na uh, tanggapin niya si Mary kahit si Mary ay buntis na. And anong ginawa ni Joseph? Tinanggap niya si Mary. No? Nung sila po ay in danger, lalong-lalo na po yung batang Jesus, dahil pinapapatay ni Nero, o ni, ni Emperor, sorry, ng Emperor that time ang, ang lahat ng mga bata, no? dahil uh, ni Pilate, pinapapay, pinapapatay ni lahat ng mga, mga bata that time. Anong ginawa niya? O sabi sa kanya ng angel, you go to Egypt. At anong ginawa ni Joseph? He brought Mary and the child Jesus to Egypt. He listened and he obeyed. Yan po ang ginawa ni ni Joseph, no? No, yan po ang matututunan natin kay San Jose. So today, in our lives, lalong-lalo na po dahil sa dami ng ingay ngayon, lahat gustong magsalita, lahat gustong sumikat, no? Ito ang matututunan natin kay St. Joseph na in our life, there is somebody who is better than us and there is a superstar na hindi tayo at dapat tanggapin natin yan. Kasi marami po ngayon, ngayong panahon natin, nagpapasikatan, di ba? Gusto number one, gusto siya ang pinakaangat, gusto siya ang pinakasikat. Di ba? Kaya nga, di ba, sa mga daan natin, pulong-puno ng tarpaulin at ang mga tarpaulin puro mukha ng mga, mga tao, di ba? Dahil gusto sumikat. Pero si Joseph, he was very silent. No? Simple lang ang role ni Joseph, pero ginawa niya ng mabuti. Hindi nagparayag, hindi nagpasikat, but he did it simply. Yan ang first na lesson po na matututunan natin kay St. Joseph. The simplicity and the silence of St. Joseph. In a world that tayo po ngayon ay very noisy, In a world na lahat na po ay nagpapasikatan sa lahat ng mga ginagawa nila, we learn from St. Joseph to silence ourselves, makinig sa Diyos, and most especially, do our work in silence and in secret. Kagaya nga po ng sinabi ng ating gospel, di ba? What you do, what your right hand is doing, do not let your left hand know it. Ibig sabihin, huwag mong ipasikat. Let God alone know. Alam ng Diyos kung ano ang ginagawa mong kabutihan. Number two, what do we learn from Joseph? Pagaya po ng sinabi ko kanina, dahil si Joseph po ay marunong magsilensyo. He was able to, number two, very important po, listen. Makinig po, no? He was a good listener pinakinggan niya kung ano ang sinasabi sa kanya ng Panginoon. Marami na po kasi sa atin ngayon, hindi na naglilisen. Bakit? Gusto natin lahat magsalita. No? Kaya wala nang nakikinig sa bawat isa. Kasi lahat tayo gustong magsalita. Wala nang gustong makinig. So today, we learn from St. Joseph that we need to listen to God. Kailangan natin makinig sa ating Panginoon. Sometimes nga, kahit sa loob ng simbahan, kahit tayo ay nagdarasal, maingay tayo. Anong ibig sabihin po nito? Hindi tayo concentrated sa misa. 
Bakit nagse-cellphone pa rin tayo? 'Di ba? 'Yun po yung ingay ng mundo ngayon na sinasabi ni Joseph, "Stop and listen." Makinig. Yan po yung sabi sa atin ni St. Joseph. So that at the end, yung ikatlo po na matututunan natin kay St. Joseph. So that when we listen, we learn how to obey God. Si Joseph was an obedient man. There were times na si Joseph ay na-confuse. Si Joseph po hindi niya naintindihan kung ano ang kagustuhan ng Diyos. Hindi rin niya alam kung ano ang gagawin. But because he listened, God instructed him and he followed. He obeyed God. No? That's why Joseph is blessed. Kaya nga sabi po nila, si Joseph po ang pinakaswerte. Bakit po? Kasi nung namatay siya, nasa tabi niya ang dalawang pinakaimportanteng tao. Sino po ang katabi ni Joseph nung siya ay namatay? No? Kaya nga sabi nila, si Joseph ang patron ng happy death. Bakit? Nung namatay siya, katabi niya si Mary and katabi niya si Jesus. No? Two of the most important people. No? Yan ang katabi ng ating Panginoon ni, ni St. Joseph. Why? This is the reward for him for being a good listener, for being a silent person but a good worker, and yet he was obedient man. So today, let us learn from St. Joseph to continue to be silent so that we can listen to God and most especially we listen to God so that we can be obedient to God. Let us be like St. Joseph. Amen. Please all stand. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator, Creator of heaven, heaven and earth, and, and in Jesus Christ, Christ, His only Son, Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born, born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius, Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. With Saint Joseph, a man of great honor and great faith. Let us, as a family, present to the Father of all our intentions. In every petition we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the pilgrim church may inspire people to renew their lives of faithfully bearing witness to Christ in word and deed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. That like St. Joseph, government officials may not fail in their duty to ensure the welfare of their constituents. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. That married couples may live in harmony with each other through mutual trust and understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. That those who assume the care of the sick, the elderly, the handicapped, lonely, or broken-hearted may be strengthened in their endeavors. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That through the intercession of Saint Joseph, those who have died may enjoy God's everlasting peace in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, in your providence and through the intercession of St. Joseph, grant 
what we ask you in faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We pray, O Lord, that just as St. Joseph served with loving care, your only begotten Son, born of the Virgin Mary, so we may be worthy to minister with a pure heart at your altar, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the solemnity of St. Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as a spouse to the Virgin Mother of God and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through Him, the angels praise Your Majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before You. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, Join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a Jewful, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread in giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Sing us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Lord, we pray from every evil, gracious to grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with thee always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Forever. 
Please all stand. Let us pray. Defend with unfailing protection, O Lord, we pray. The faithful you nourish with food from this altar, as they rejoice at the solemnity of St. Joseph, and graciously keep safe your gifts among them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow for the blessing. Look, O Lord, on the prayers of your family and grant them the assistance they humbly implore so that strengthened by the help they need, they may persevere in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Wala sino man ang namamatay para sa sarili laman. Tayo lahat ay may pananagutan sa isa't isa. Tayo lahat ay tinipo ng Diyos na kapiling niya. Tayo lahat ay tinipo ng Diyos na kapitin niya. Please kneel for the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, through contrition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words of David, your prophet said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat. O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. They know, dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And this special grace to die in God's love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.